Take the hide. Welcome back. Today I will recap episodes 3 and 4 of a 2017 Turkish horror TV series named Sahipli, or Possessed. Please watch the first and second episodes to understand this recap better, the link is in the description. At the beginning of the third episode, Salem comes to pick up Bishra to take her to the graveyard. When they reach there, he takes out a plant from his car. She asks him about it, to which he says that this plant is considered pure and it keeps evil spirits away, and if she puts it on her dad's grave, he will be happy. His mother was very fond of gardening, and she died when he was 15 years old. After that, both of them go inside the cemetery, and only then Turkin and Kadar passing by see them, and Kadar says that they seem to have become very good friends, even though they haven't met for a long time. Now when Selim helps Bishra plant the sapling at her dad's grave, we see both of them coming closer to each other. Later, Selim tells her that when he was young, he caught some flies and put them in a small medicine bottle. He took the bottle home and placed it near his bed, and kept looking at it all night. But when he woke up the next morning, the flies were dead. He had seen death for the first time, so he started crying. He took that bottle and went outside, and started digging in the soil while praying for them to get alive. He then put them on a piece of newspaper and folded it well and buried it. The next day he tried to dig it up, but there was nothing there. He felt that his prayer was accepted and that flies were alive, and that was the happiest day of his life. Now he feels that those flies have taught him a lot about life and death. Then when his mother died, he felt that the same miracle would happen once again. If he prays, she will be alive again. He used to secretly go to his mother's grave every night, but nothing happened. Meanwhile, Dabat meets Hassan and tells him that his friend Abdullah's daughter Bishra has returned to the village. Hassan says that he is glad to know that, and Abdullah used to love his daughter, but the poor man could not even see her marriage, and he had become strange a few months before his death. Dabat tells him that Selim was asking about Abdullah's grave, to which Hassan tells him that last night he saw Selim going towards the forest. He has seen him many times before, but he doesn't understand where he goes so late in the night. Later, while Selim is teaching in the school, Ali suddenly says that he should not have hidden the truth from her, and she will be upset if she finds out from anyone else. He then points to the window from where Bushra is staring angrily at him, and here Selim remembers Burhan, that he has to beware of the children around him, because some souls want to influence him by using weak bodies. Meanwhile, Davut visits Avni, and tells him that he wants what he brought last time, but this time it should be fresh and it should not smell, and he needs it tonight. The scene then shifts to the hospital, where Bishra tells Aziz that they saw his grandmother yesterday, to which he says she must have shouted seeing Selim. Bishra asks him why she doesn't like Selim, to which he says that he does not know, but Selim is a good person, and what happened to him was not fair. Bishra asks him what happened to him, to which he tells her that four years ago, Neil and his daughter Esra used to live in the same house in which she lives now. Neil then went completely insane, and all his horses died in a single night. Some say that he had poisoned the horses, and told everyone that those horses come to that house and talk to him. They knew where his daughter was, but they did not tell him. Slowly he became completely mad, and then one night he drank rat poison. Bishra asks him what Selim has to do with all this, to which he tells her that Esra was Selim's fiancé. He then starts coughing and tells her that for four years there is no information about that girl. During this, we see Howell overhearing them, and then suddenly Aziz gets spooked seeing Bishra's eyes shining for a moment. Bishra gets normal and Howell also rushes in, and after drinking water, Aziz tells them that something was stuck in his throat. Bishra then leaves there saying she has some things to do, and after she leaves, Howell scolds Aziz for telling all that to Bishra. Later that night, Selim visits Bishra's with a plant for her, but because she was angry with him, she refuses to take it saying she can't take care of it so he can take it back. She then says that she is very tired tonight and asks him to leave. Meanwhile, Jemal is trying to watch TV, but it does not work. This makes him furious, so he angrily pulls out the sofa cover and tablecloth. He then brings them out, throws them in a dustbin, and then sets them on fire. After a while, when Selim returns home, he notices something burning over there. He picks up a cloth lying outside the dustbin and checks it, and angrily goes inside and asks his father why did he burn the things made by his mother. Jamal says that he used to get nervous seeing them, and hearing this, Salim goes to his room and asks him what he wants. Why is he treating him like a criminal for so many years? He can't stand it anymore and wants to know what is the problem. Meanwhile, we see Davut burying a plate into the ground behind his house. Just then Avni reaches there with the things he ordered, and he asks him what does he do with them. Davut says that sometimes dogs come here and he gives them this, and asks if what he brought is not stale. He then asks him to keep it there, after which Avni takes the payment and leaves from there. 
Dabbit then empties the bag into that pit, and we see that there are animal bones inside it. After this, he puts something like jam on top of it, and then fills the pit again. Suddenly the light in his grandson's room lights up and then goes off, and then he gets overjoyed to see the silhouettes of his grandsons on the window. Here Azaz's grandmother gives him a charm and asks him to keep it under his pillow. She says that this will protect him, and asks him to stay away from Selim. He goes to his room and puts it under his pillow, and just as he lays down to sleep, he hears his grandmother calling him for dinner. He asks her what happened but he doesn't get any answer. He comes out to check on her and his grandmother calls him to her room for dinner, and as he opens the door, he gets terrified seeing her eating something strange on her bed. She calls him to her, but then his grandmother calls him from outside, seeing that he gets shocked, and when he looks back inside, there is no one there. She asks him to have food, but Aziz is too scared and goes to his room, and the episode ends here. The fourth episode begins and we see an entity passing from outside Ollie's room. He gets up and starts looking out the window, and a scary voice calls him to her and asks him to show her his face. Now the next day, when Selim is teaching the children in the school, a man comes to the class and calls him out. He tells him that he has come to take Ollie as his mother's health has become very critical, and she wants to see him for the last time. Meanwhile, Dabut is on his way out of the house when he hears something breaking inside, and when he comes to his grandson's room. He finds the window panes broken and gets spooked to see their statues in his backyard with two coffins in front of them. He checks behind the curtain and remembers someone telling him that if a doll falls, don't pick it up and first come and talk to her. He comes out and takes out some gold bangles from a box and then he calls someone and asks him to bring a car to his house, but he should not tell anyone where they are going. Here in the hospital, Howell and Julia are waiting for Bishra and Aziz when he comes there rubbing his eyes and says that he could not sleep last night. He then leaves there and Julia tries to call Bishra. We then see Selim at Ollie's house and he tells his father he is going to bring the doctor. Ollie's father says that calling the doctor will not help, on which he leaves saying that maybe she will get some relief. After some time, Selim comes to the hospital and tells Howell that he has come to pick up Bishra as Ollie's mom's health is critical. Howell tells him that she has not come yet and that she is not even taking calls. He also tells him that yesterday Aziz had told Bishra about him and Esra. Selim goes straight from there to Bishra's house and tells her that the mother of one of his students is critical. She is suffering from cancer and is in pain, so he thought to tell her. They then reach Ollie's house and she asks Ollie to go out with Salem so that she can give medicine to his mother. After they come out, Bishra gives her an injection to ease her pain. Meanwhile, Ollie tells Salem that he knows his mother will die, to which he tells him that he was just 15 when his mother died. He knows it's not easy, but they get rid of the pain. Here Ollie's mother tries to say something, but she dies and Bishra calls Salem. Later, she tells him that she is not feeling good because she is feeling as if she is responsible for her death. Salem says there is nothing like this and she should not think like this. He then stops the car on the way and says that he is not hiding anything from her, although there are some memories of his life that he wants to forget completely. When he dropped her home that night, he came to her door to tell her, but he didn't understand what and how to tell her. He had lost his mother at a very young age, and then after a few years, he came to know that his mother had hanged herself, the reason for which he still does not know. Then when Esra came into her life, there was hope to live life again, but she disappeared the very next day after their engagement, and for four years there is no news of her. Hearing all this, Bishra tells him that she has never been in love in her life. Then Adam came into her life, and she thought that her life will be happy forever, but he committed suicide on the wedding night. After this, we see Dabba with a woman named Kepser, who tells him that no one will survive and everything will be destroyed. She then asks him whether he had buried the bone, to which he says yes. Kepser tells him not to buy from him again and take out those buried bones as they are rotten and don't forget that what he is doing is very dangerous. She then tells him that she has told him many times that the children he sees are not his grandsons. Suddenly the statue behind her starts moving, which frightens both of them, and Kepser says that they are asking him for gold as a punishment. Davit gives her those bangles, and she puts them in a box. She then gives him a bottle and asks him if he knows what to do. Davit says yes, and she asks him to leave. The next day, Aziz tells Howell that last night the villagers saw a big animal near the fountain. Howell says that villagers exaggerate things, to which Aziz tells him that there used to be a grave near that fountain. The villagers of that era dug the land to find the treasure and they got it, but the next day they were found buried in the ground. There was some force around them and their eyes were sticking out. Four priests were called to drive out those devils, and they told them that it is the door to the other world. Howell asks him if his grandmother told him these stories, to which he says that Imam Yahya also knows about this and he had told that jinn guards that treasure there. 
Howell says that all this is rubbish, and he has also told all this to Bishra, now she will think that everyone working here is crazy. Meanwhile, Imam Yahya tells Ali's father that they should bury his wife as soon as possible, but he says that he is compelled because some relatives are coming from far away. Only then do we see Ali drawing a weird sketch, and it seems as if he is in someone's control. Here Dabat returns home and starts digging the ground to take out the bones he buried there. On the other hand, Julia invites Bishra to her home for dinner, to which she says not today, because she does not want her family to see her in this condition. She then tells her to come to her house for dinner, to which Julia agrees. Here Dabat goes to his grandson's room, where he stands up the fallen statue, after which he applies the liquid to their eyes that Kepser had given him. Later that evening, Bishra comes to her house with Julia, and she sees that Salam had kept that plant at her door, and she gets overjoyed to see it. Now that night, Selim visits Ali's house, and he tells his father that he is there to meet Ali. He goes to his room and asks him what he has drawn. Ali hands him the drawing and tells him to go there with Bishra, and asks him to leave him alone. Salim reaches the fountain and the tree, where he gets spooked to see two children with some strange thing coming out of their mouths, and then they both disappear, and as he leaves, we see a jinn coming out from behind that tree. Meanwhile, Julia tells Bishra that it has been only a year since Howell came to this hospital, and earlier he was in another district. She also tells that Howell's wife was not a good woman, and one day he caught her with his cousin in his house. He had divorced her a year ago and then settled in this village, but that woman had spread a rumor in the village that Howell had an affair with her cousin. Only then does the phone rings, and when she picks up the phone, Salem is on the other end, and she tells him that Julia is with her. She is talking to him when Julia picks up the cup and it breaks, and she tells Bishra that she wanted to tell her future but the cup broke, but they take it lightly. After a while, Julia leaves there, and Bishra puts her and Adam's photo in a drawer. Here Ollie gets up hearing his mother's voice, and he comes out and stands by her coffin, and we see her mother's ghost behind him calling his name, and the episode ends here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.